Hello students, in the previous video we have discussed the northern mountains. Today we are going to discuss the uh, another, other remaining really features of our country. First, the northern plains, the second most important uh, really feature, physiographic division of our country. So the northern plains is uh, of course a depositional feature which has been formed by the deposition uh, sediments brought down by the river Indus, river Ganga and river Brahmaputra along with its uh, tributaries. And uh, hence it is the northern plains is also termed as Indo-Ganga-Brahmaputra plain. Now uh, let us discuss some of the other characteristics of uh, northern plains. Uh, location towards the south of the northern mountains or the Siwalik mountains. Then the uh, states which is consist of the area consist of uh, Rajasthan, then Punjab, Haryana, uh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal and uh, Assam. Uh, the direction of the uh, northern plains is from uh, west to east. Area which is covered by the northern plains is more than 6 lakh square kilometer. Now the northern plains almost run, runs for uh, 2400 uh, kilometer and the width varies from place to place. It is around 150 kilometer in the Assam plain and whereas in the Ganga plain in Uttar Pradesh and all it is around 500 kilometer long. Now the formation of northern plains. Uh, now some of the geographer has suggested a theory regarding the formation of northern plains that when the Himalayas were formed due to the collision of two tectonic plates the uh, geosyncline was formed over there. Now over the years the uh, rivers originated in the Himalayas and they drained into the uh, geosyncline. So after uh, uh, then layer after layer, layer after layer the sediments were deposited over there. So after million of years of deposition of sediments a flat land topography was uh, formed uh, which is presently known as the northern plains. Now let us talk about the relief feature of northern plains. Some of the geographer thinks that uh, that northern plains is just a flat land topography without any uh, feature or it is a featureless topography but that is an absolutely wrong idea. The northern plains also have few of the really features. Bhabar. Now it lies uh, it is a uh, width consists of uh, 8 to 16 kilometer broader and it lies to the south of the Siwalik mountains. Many streams originate in the Siwalik mountains but they disappear in the Bhava region because of its porosity. So now towards the south of the Bhava lies is the Tarai region. Now the Tarai region here one of the striking feature of the Tarai region is the re-emergence of the streams which disappears in the Bhavar areas. And of course it lies to the south of Bhavar. And towards the south of Tarai another feature is the Bhangar. Now those uh, Bhangar soil, those uh, Bhangar soil they are the old alluvial and it is also porous in nature of course because uh, the deposition of gravels and uh, pebbles which lies towards the south of uh, Tarai and uh, again towards the uh, south of Bhangar lies the Khadar soil which is uh, also an uh, alluvial soil but this is new alluvial soil which is replenished every year by the uh, rivers so it is very very fertile compared to the Bhangar, Khadar, Bhangar, Tarai and Bhangar, Bhabar. Now another uh, plain uh, features, northern plain feature is the sand dunes and it is also known as Barkhan, the crescent shape and uh, basically it is found in the desert or the semi-arid uh, areas and uh, which is done by the depositional work of wind and uh, basically it is formed over the Rajasthan plains. 
Like the northern mountains, even the northern plains are also divided into specific region. Uh, towards the west of Aravalli is the Rajasthan plains. Then comes is the Punjab plains. Uh, yes, Punjab, which is done by the uh, which is deposited by the river Indus and its tributaries and consisting another is the Ganga plain done by the uh, deposition done by the river Ganga and uh, Brahmaputra plain and uh, um, consists of the states of Assam so Rajasthan plain basically uh, Rajasthan plain it is and uh, uh, separate physiographic division of India but due to the flat topography it is also included in the plains Next is the Punjab plain deposited by river Indus and its tributaries, river Ganga, states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal deposited by river Ganga and its tributaries and the Assam Valley uh, deposited by the river Brahmaputra along with its tributaries. So this is some of the important features of northern plains. Northern plains also has a great importance or significance over the economic and social development of India. Because the fertile soil is present here, the flat surface, slow moving perennial rivers and favorable climatic conditions. Now because of the uh, fertile soil and the water resources, this area has a great agricultural productivity and it, hence it is termed as granaries of India. Due to the flat surface, plenty of or the good network of roads and railways are present here which has led to the development of industrialization. Now due to the industrialization and uh, agriculture sufficient employment opportunities are there. So density of population is also very high. Now if you see history then the ancient civilization Moenjadaru Harappa has also developed in the northern plains of India. So this all for today remaining will be done in the next video. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope this video was quite helpful. And uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.